Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Miss Melissa here, and we are gonna be doing a special activity today. It's kind of different than we've done before, but what is it, Link? What are we doing? We're baking brownies. We are baking brownies together. Lincoln is my little baking buddy. He loves to bake. Miss Melissa is not a very good baker, but I like when I have a helper to help me bake. So he is gonna help me. The first ingredient we need is the brownie mix. Oh, I'm sorry. We forgot to do something very important. Pause the brownie mix really quick. We need to wash our hands. Lincoln, did you wash your hands before? Mm -hmm. Miss Melissa washed her hands. Let's go ahead and sing the hand washing song together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Front and back, side to side. Wash those germs away. All right, we are ready now. We need to make sure that our hands are nice and clean before we touch food. All right, so the first ingredient is the brownie mix. We're gonna go ahead and dump our ingredients into our mixing bowl. Go ahead, Link. Good, okay. The second ingredient we're gonna use are two eggs. One, two. Here we go. It says we are going to mix the eggs with the brownie mix. Do you want to try this? Sure. Okay. Good. Now when Miss Melissa's cooking or baking, I always have a little garbage bowl right next to where I'm baking so we can have a little garbage area. We have one more egg to do. Okay, good job. The next ingredient is water. And I think it says to do one fourth cup. This is one fourth cup. It says one dash four. That's one fourth of a cup of water. Okay, now we're gonna put the water inside of the brownie mix. The next ingredient is one half of a cup of vegetable oil. So I'm gonna pour the vegetable oil in this one half of a cup. Lincoln, would you like to pour it in there for me? Sure. Good. You can just put that in the garbage bowl. We can wash it. All right. Now we have the ingredients that uh, the box says, but we're going to add a little extra ingredients. That's the fun thing that you can do with brownie mix. You can add different ingredients to your brownie mix. So I'm going to tell you some of the secret ingredients we're going to add to this. Lincoln, would you like to start mixing? We're going to mix, mix, mix until the eggs and the oil and the water are all blended together in this yummy chocolatey brownie mix. Get some muscle in there, get some muscle. Okay, now that the stirring is done, we're gonna add a couple of extra ingredients that are not a part of the ingredients, but we can still add them. We're gonna add one third a cup of milk chocolate chips. Boys and girls, do you see that it says one third cup? Miss Melissa already put the chocolate chips in there, so we're gonna dump them in, and Lincoln's gonna do another stir. Okay. Now, good job. Those chocolate chips are getting in that batter. They're gonna be extra chocolatey yummy. You ready? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to dump the whole mix in this square glass tin. Dump, dump, dump. Guess who's gonna wanna lick the bowl after this is all empty? <laughs> Why am I not shocked? <laughs> okay. Yep, there's some left over for you, Link. Yes. Okay. 
now we're going to sm smooth it out on this square pan. And add one more secret ingredient. Now, boys and girls, I added one secret ingredient. Remember, that was the milk chocolate chips. Another ingredient you could use if you have are chocolate M&Ms. Chocolate M&Ms are fun because they have different colors. So you can count how many blue M&Ms you have, how many red M&Ms you have, how many green M&Ms, are there orange M&Ms, and are there yellow M&Ms? I think there is. Mm -hmm. Brown. And you can count the colored M&Ms and add them to the batter too. But for now, we're gonna add six caramel squares. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of nestle them in to the batter, kind of get them hidden a little bit into this batter. Yeah, right there, it's sliding. Good. So that means it's gonna be chocolate and caramel mm -hmm. fudge brownies. Does that sound good? How many do you have left? Two more left. Okay. And he's just putting them wherever he wants. He, there's no rhyme or reason. He's just putting all the caramels all over the batter. Okay. Now, we are finished. That's all that it took. It just took that short of time to be able to make some brownies. And we're going to put it in the oven. Let's see what it says in our directions. It says we are going to put it in the oven for about 33 minutes. Okay. So in 33 minutes, I'll get them out and we'll show you the finished product. Okay, the finished product is here. It just got finished baking for about 33 minutes. So now Lincoln, and I let it cool off for about 10 minutes. So now Lincoln is gonna cut the pieces for he and Kaden. He's gonna do three lines across. He's being very careful with the knife. Now, mommy and daddy might want to do this themselves but I'm letting Lincoln have a little bit of freedom in cutting. Okay, it's okay. Okay, he did three. Can you count while you're cutting? Mm-hmm. Okay, now he's gonna cut the other side. So there's one. One line. Two, two lines and three. three lines. These are real fudgy, chewy mm. brownies. All right. Let me give you a corner piece, Link. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, Video Man, would you like a slice of brownie too? Okay. A thumbs up means yes, please. They are pretty gooey and chocolatey. All right. All right, friends. This is our cooking lesson for the day, and they're going to go eat their little brownie treats right now. We'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.